everybody, it's me, your old pal Dan Classic, and we're back again with Series 4 of the Figures Toy Company Batman TV Show Figures. If you've been following along, so far we've seen 12 8-inch clothed figures from Figures Toy Company based on the Batman TV series from the 1960s. Last time was kind of a skip it series, unless of course you were trying to get them all. Personally, I dig shame, but MeTV ranks him below Gomez Riddler, so do with that what you will. Series 4 gets back on track as the series features three villains and no dynamic duo. That's right, it took four series for Figures Toy Company to not make Batman and Robin part of the series. So if you've been collecting them all so far, half a dozen of the figures were Batman and Robin, and we're not done yet. First up in the series is Alfred, who looks a lot like Alan Napier, who played him on the show. This might not be a must-have for everybody, but if they didn't make Alfred, I feel like the line might be missing something. Next is number 8 on MeTV's ranking of the best Batman TV show villains, King Tut. I'm sure John Wilde is stoked as the fat body makes another appearance in the line. He's a great looking figure with a good sculpt of Victor Bono who played the rotund ruler on the TV show. Our next villain is ranked number 9 on MeTV's best Batman TV show villains list, The Bookworm, played by Roddy McDowell. I think Bookworm's literary gimmick is kinda cool and I like how his outfit was brown leather like a book cover. Last up in Series 4 is number 6 on MeTV's top Batman villains list, Otto Preminger as Mr. Freeze. A couple other guys played Freeze on the show, but the iconic look of Preminger takes it for me and for Figures Toy Company too apparently, as this is the only version of Mr. Freeze they chose to make. The figure looks good right down to the orange eyebrows. I got all four, so let's take a look at Series 4 of the Batman TV Show Figures by Figures Toy Company. Alright, so here's Series 4 of the uh, Classic TV Toys Figures Toy Company Batman TV Show Figures. Um, series 4, here they are. Um, we've taken a look at these boxes before. You kind of know what to expect. You have the nice little display. Um, I got these for $19.99. Uh, interesting fact, um, maybe not so uh, not so good news, that recently the price on these has gone up. That the price that I was getting on them before, the $19.99 for these cardboard boxes, um, was a deal, a, a sale, a special, uh, uh, you know, uh, whatever they were doing, a promotion, if you will. And uh, the price has now gone back up to $29.99. Um, meaning that if you're gonna buy these, you might as well get them in the clamshell. I do have a couple more of these left to get, and I may have to end up just getting the clamshells. Um, Cause you know what, when it comes down to it, this is a little cheaper. It's made out of paper, obviously. It's gonna break down and it's gonna, you know, the, the corners are gonna get all fucked up. It's gonna tear over time. It's just not gonna hold up as well as that clamshell will. These don't display as well as the clamshell, in my opinion. These display well on a shelf, I guess. Uh, but you know what? Uh, Let's take a look at these figures. Um, we're, we're seeing them in the box. You've seen them before. We've got the figures displayed on the back side. Um, you have the, the, the picture of the, the guy from the show, whoever it is, and, uh, and, and so on and so forth. We know this deal by now. Um, so let's take a look at uh, Series 4 outside of the box. All right, so let's start things out with Alfred. Um, not bad at all. Looks a lot like Alan Napier. Comes with the Coke bottle specs that are removable. Um, as you can see, uh, you can take those off and get rid of them if you'd like. And there he is. Uh, it's Alfred Sans Shades or, or Sans Specs, if you will. He has his uh, nice little butler suit on. Um, good resemblance to uh, Alan Napier, the, the actor who played played old alfred on the tv show um not bad uh you know uh sculpt on this one looks pretty goddamn good in my opinion but you know you've got the same sort of issues that you have with every single one of these things it's the bodies i um, mean they've got those little rubber bands inside of them so this one's kind of in a little bit of a twist and uh, and it's a pain in the ass to try to 
do any sort of posing on these. Um, you know what, like how many good poses are you gonna get, want out of Alfred anyway? But even if you wanted to do a dynamic pose with him, it's gonna be a little bit more difficult. And here's another fucking problem. <sighs> socks, fucking give him some socks for crying out loud, $30. These things cost $30 now, and uh, they were $30 anyway in the first place, and, and that's what they cost. That's what they fucking cost. Um, $30 for these things, um, and, and no socks. The Joker had socks, so you prove, that's, uh, that's proof of concept, that you could give the Joker socks, and, and, he would, and it would work, and it would be fine. Everybody else is fucking Don Johnson on Miami Vice, and they're not wearing socks. Um, he looks fine. He looks fine, but really, for thirty fucking dollars, I mean, are you gonna get every single goddamn one of these things? Probably not. Um, it, with the price hike, with the price going back up to whatever the normal price is, um, a lot of these have become overpriced. This one, at least to me, included. Luckily, I was able to get this for nineteen ninety nine when it was still on sale. Um, but yeah. Uh, you might not be so lucky if you were trying to get every single one of them. It's going to cost you 30% more. Um, and for, you know what, for most of these figures, they're really a pass. You can pass on most of the figures in the line, even though I do like the idea of this line. I do like that they are, they are, they do look nice and they display nice, but they're pretty much, you just cut it right there. They're good for display. They can stand there, basically stand at attention for the most part, but otherwise they're, they're, they're cheap bodies. They're, they're falling apart. Look at the wrist here. This thing's about to fucking come off. And, uh, you know, and, and these, let's take a look here. At least they got the sleeves that go all the way down on here. Like nice little tie. He looks good. He does look good. It looks like Alfred. He, he's very recognizable. You put the glasses back on him here. And really, it looks it looks just like him. Um, but yeah, honestly, at the end of the day, were you going to get every single one of these things? Not for $30 a piece. All right, so here is Roddy McDowell as the bookworm. And now that I take a look at it, they did give him a kind of a pleathery look to his outfit. Um, not bad looking, not bad looking at all. Pretty good sculpt, looks like the character. Here's the fucking problem. Um, he has this little book light that's supposed to connect to this little hole right here. They give it to you in like fucking three or four pieces for some reason. There's the hat, there's this hat band, and then there's this little, little book light that's supposed to go through in this little hole. And, and you can, and it doesn't fucking fit in there. You can try jamming in there all you want. You might have to make a brand new hole. You got these glasses. They weren't, they don't fucking really fit all that well. Um, at least they stay on his head. You can shake them all around. Um, and, and God damn it. God damn it. Every time. Figures Toy Company! Okay, so I know, I know, well maybe the bookworm isn't the most important fucking character in the world, right? Maybe he's not, he's not the most important character in the world. Oh, he has whole sleeves, uh, at least. He has, he has fucking long sleeves on his shirt, a little yellow tie, looks fine there. But there's always something, there's always something where it's like, oh well, we'll just put it in the box, who gives a shit? And they put it in there, and they're just like, oh who cares? And look at this, it looks like fucking shit! And it doesn't fucking work properly. And even for display, even for display, I tried. I tried for the last fucking 10 minutes to try to put this stupid fucking hat together just so I could stand him up to have him look good for two seconds while I started this fucking video and I couldn't fucking do it. They gave him gloves. They gave him um, like the hands that look like gloves. Look, he has grabby hands. Fucking, they gave him a holdy hand. A fucking holdy hand? Where the fuck were the holdy hands? With shame. Shame comes with shit that you can hold. He has a, what, my fucking, there. There fucking, you can hold your hat. I can't even fucking hold his goddamn hat. <sighs> what, there's, there's fucking Roddy McDowell as, as the fucking bookworm. All right, so here is King Tut, Victor Bono as King Tut. Um, lots and lots of detail here on this one, although he does feel 
quite fragile, doesn't stand up straight, gotta fucking lean him up against something or get a stand. Of course, uh, the rubber bands are gonna make it real fucking easy for you to stand him up. Of course, because you got these ankles here that are that are loosey goosey, and um, and then when you go to stand him up, he falls fucking forward. You try to try to lean him back maybe a little bit. Oh, he leans backward. The, and then the knees are loose and the legs are loose. Um, he's got lots and lots of stuff though. He's got this little this little fucking pharaoh hat um, here that comes off. He's got this necklace that doesn't want to fucking stay down properly. It has a little scarab on it. But there it goes. It goes right up in front of his fucking face. So there's that. They could have gave you a better fucking string to hold to hang that on. Maybe a little longer. Maybe something. He has these um, nice little details though. He's these capes and robes. Um, very, very fucking cool. And uh, and and as and as we've seen before, and, and as I'll, I'll say again. Here it is. Uh, this is this is for you, buddy. It's for you, John Wilde. It's the fucking fat body making a making the the triumphant return to the Batman TV show figures. Uh, the fat body. This is this would be uh, the the only reason for for anybody to get this is if you were John Wilde and uh, and you know John Wilde is the world's foremost uh, Mego Type Two fat body collector um, that I know of at least uh, in the world. And, uh, and, and yeah, this would be the reason to get this. Um, a cool fucking character, King Tut, if not a little silly. You've got this fat white guy um, uh, pretending to be uh, King Tut. Uh, fucking hilarious fucking episodes of the show. And, and that's really where it's going to get points for me. And this will, if you if you really fucking, if you're really careful with it, it will disp display pretty well. Uh, but you're gonna, just going to have to get stands. Oh, well, look at this. They gave him a fucking holdy hand! They gave him a fucking holdy hand and he's got nothing to hold. Nothing to hold and nothing to prove. Um, this was a figure that uh, likely I was going to get either way um, because I do think it, it's, he's an interesting character. It's a funny fucking character. Just looking at him makes me fucking laugh. Um, but yeah, it's King Tut. All right, so finally, finally... It's Mr. Freeze. Otto Preminger as Mr. Freeze. Wow. Wow. What a cool looking fucking figure. You know exactly who this is supposed to be. The outfit is great. They gave him the superhero style uh, gloves that attach to the little ball joints on the hands. Um, he, they gave him, uh, I think these are, he's got real feet in those boots there. Um, and the little rubber boots, they're kind of light, but they do help him stand up. They help him stand up a little bit better than the other figures in the line. He stands up pretty well. He's fucking loose as shit. Look at this. Look how loose he's brand new out of the box. And he's just loose as hell. Um, I could restring it, but I don't know that it's going to do much fucking good. Um, as we turn the figure around, we do see he has his little uh, uh, like fire extinguishers on his back here as part of his Mr. Freeze fucking get up here. Um, I've seen this figure with a fucking dome on his head. I don't know if that's something that's being added by a customizer or that's something that came with the figure. Mine didn't come with a fucking dome. Of course, I bought him in the cardboard box. Um, and, and if that's the case, that, that figure's toy company was just like, hey, well, there you go, shove it up your ass. We didn't give you one. Um, no dome. Not that a fucking, I don't think a dome would fit because this thing is not fucking, not even. It's all warped. It looks like a warped fucking ring around his neck. Um, and the suit looks kind of dirty. Oh my god. One fucking fig- I get one figure that was kind of okay in this fucking line? This would have been- this would have been the pick. This would have been the one pick. And I had to pick one from- from the fucking Series 4 that I wanted to get. It, it this was the one I was waiting to open. It was like, let me get Mr. Freeze open. Let me fucking get Mr. Freeze open and see what he looks like. He's fucking cool looking. Does he have the- oh my god, fucking John Wilde. Fucking into double trouble in series four. Mr. Freeze has the fat body. So so there you go. Um, John Wilde would be pleased to hear about that. Uh, otherwise, this figure is kind of okay, but when you think about what you're gonna pay for these things, when you're thinking 30 fucking dollars plus ship for these figures, is it really worth it to you when they're when they're loose, when their fucking accessories are broken, when they come fucking like all fucking his his legs falling off. Oh my god. That's fucking Mr. Freeze. 
All right, so at the end of the day, Series 4, you had some good additions. We didn't have a Batman or a Robin. You've got some nice outfits, but on the on the converse side, on the other side, on the bad side, it, it, there's fucking cheap bodies, they're, they're loosey-goosey, the accessories are fucking falling off, and in some cases, you can't even get them on in the first place. And for the, the price hike, for the $30 that you pay for these things, no, no, they're not worth it. No, I would say buy something else for $30. You might as well buy a fucking a NECA figure for fucking $30. Um, at least they, they fucking come put together. These things you gotta put together yourself and there's no guarantee that they're gonna go together. These can't, they can't fucking display. They're, they're all fucking twisted up. You have to go to all the trouble of being like a fucking customizer. You restring and, and, and redo and, and change and fix these fucking things just to get them to display. I'm not even talking about playing with them. I'm not talking about like giving them to a little kid to be like, hey, let's play back. Batman. No, I'm talking about just putting them on a fucking shelf to stand up and hoping that the moment you walk away or a fucking, you know, somebody opens the door to your house, they don't just all fall over like a bunch of goddamn cheap ass dominoes. Oh my god. Anyway, that's it for series four. There's two to go. Let's see how fucking. I don't even know if I can make it to series six. Uh, anyway, that's Series 4.